moment I use to set up inspections, send the inspection to my phone to conduct the inspection, setting up invoices and sending free inspection agreements to the clients. Um, I will now go to 3D inspections. So this is our office management uh, section of the software. You'll see there's office management. So what I'm going to do is create a new job. So I'm going to go up to here and click add a new job. Um, I'm going to call the job test. You see I'm going to populate all the details, all the basic information for this particular job, uh, which obviously I've received from the client that I'm going to conduct the inspection for. Um, file number will be the same as the job number, 5603. Now I've got client, so I can click on the arrow here, and I'm going to either add a new client and fill in all their details and click OK. But for this exercise, I'm just going to click an existing client of mine. You'll see it will pre-populate in that section under the client. Um, I will then, you could always uh, also add buyers agents or real estate agents following the same process, and you can create your own database of agents and so forth. Um, I'll bypass that for this exercise also. I'll move down to site information. This will actually be the uh, address of the property that we're going to conduct the inspection for. Country is not necessary because obviously, obviously we're uh, conducting in Australia, so. Uh, that's a given. I'll bypass all this information and go directly to the inspector. By default, I'm the inspector. I can click on the arrow and modify my details, or I can select additional inspectors. Uh, this exercise, again, I will select myself as the inspector. Inspection date. We'll select uh, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Any additional details or any special instructions, you can add some notes and so forth here. From this point, um, that's all the basic client details and site address and so forth. I want to actually now, and if you look up, you'll see three tabs here, I want to create the invoice. So I'm going to click on the invoice tab. I'm going to move down to the bottom here, and you'll see add an item to an invoice. I'll click on that. I'll select the type of inspection I'm doing. So for this exercise, I'm going to select building and pest. I'm going to also scroll down to GST, so I want to add the GST component, click OK. For those two clicks, essentially, have just created the invoice for me. I don't have to go to a third party software to create that invoice, it's all created in house within the 3D inspection software. At that point, I'm going to click Save, and it'll take us back to Office Management, and now we'll see the, the job that we've just created. I will highlight that by clicking on that particular job and scroll over to the right hand side here and we'll see all the particulars for that uh, that job that we're going to do. Uh, site address, clients names, invoice names, type of inspection, uh, the service fee that we're charging. So okay, so that's the basic details. From this point, we now want to set up and send this inspection to our phone 3D software or app so, so we can actually conduct this inspection on site tomorrow. Okay, so at this point we're going to go down to the very bottom here and you'll see create and upload mobile inspection. I'm going to click on that. We'll get a pop-up. It'll show the particular templates that we want to use. We're doing a building and pest, so I'm going to select building and pest template and click OK. Now shortly we'll get a pop-up. And this is logging into 3D Inspection Software Cloud. I'm going to click OK. And it's going to upload this particular job to my phone. So then tomorrow when I go to the job, I will have access to this template. Done. OK, so that's stage two completed. Stage one was the initial client setup. Stage two was create and upload mobile inspection. We've got another stage that we need to do now, and that is obviously sending the, the client prior to, us, prior to us doing the inspection, a pre-inspection agreement, and obviously the invoice. Now, how I do that, and there is other ways to do it, but this is the process that I follow, I will then navigate down to start a new inspection. 
I'll click on start a new inspection. Again, selecting the appropriate inspection type. It was a building and pest, so I'll select that. And it'll take me to the second part of this software, which is Report Writer. Um, so from here, if you look to the left-hand side of the software, we've got what we call an, an Actions menu. Okay, so in here I've included pre-inspection agreements from some of the major insurance companies that we use in the inspection industry. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to click on one of them. Now you'll see within, these are all the pre-inspection agreements that the insurance company have provided that we must supply to the client. Um, now what we'll do is we need to double click on the appropriate one that matches the inspection we're doing. For this example, it's building and pest, so I'll double click on that and we'll get a pop-up of that agreement. You'll see the software will also pre-populate all the client's details. And if we scroll down to the bottom of the agreement, um, obviously pre-populates the fees and client's details. Client must uh, sign this document and send it back to us. Um, okay, so I'll just pop back up to the top here. Now, so we want to send this agreement to the client and we still have to send the invoice also. So if we go up to these three tabs up here and navigate to the third one, we'll see email. Okay, so I'm going to click that. And we're going to get a, another pop-up. Okay, so now we've got our email, uh, in-house email system that's popped up. Um, I'll just expand it. Now you'll see, I've pre-populated uh, the actual email message with the client. That will also pre-populate with the client's details, and obviously uh, also pre-populates with the date of the inspection and time. Now if we look up the top, we'll see a box here that's ticked. It says, attach invoice to email. So by default, if that box is ticked, the invoice is attached to this email, okay? Now if I scroll down to the bottom here also, we'll see another, another tick box, and it's an attachment, and it's the building and pest inspection agreement, okay? So if that box is ticked, the agreement's attached, and if that box is ticked, the email's attached. They should be attached by default unless you untick them, but obviously we need those ticked. From this point, all we need to do is click send, and that will send this email to the client with the invoice and with the agreement and they must obviously uh, make payment for that uh, for this inspection and obviously return the agreement prior to us doing the inspection so I'll click send and that, that email has now been sent I'll click and save the agreement now, which is up here, which will obviously save that uh, inspection agreement to this particular job. I'll click back on office management, and there's our job. All set up, uh, inspection template uploaded to the phone, we're conducting the inspection on site tomorrow, and we've obviously sent the pre-inspection agreement. Well, that's about it anyway for this quick little lesson, but um, yeah, I hope it helps. And uh, it's Jeff from House Inspections Melbourne here. I conduct uh, a lot of new inspector pre-purchase building inspection training courses uh, in Australia. I've also developed templates that uh, have aligned with 3D inspection systems. Um, so if you need any help, by all means, give me a call. Uh, phone number is 04-2222-8716 or my website is www.houseinspectionsmelbourne.com.au Thank you.